Hey, it's Nate from Design Squad. We got a message in from Queen Bead who wanted to ask about making a straw into a flute. Well, Queen Bead, I think that's an awesome idea. In fact, I used to play the flute. So to make a straw into a flute, we're gonna wanna cut a little hole in the end. A flute makes a tone by blowing air across the hole, so let's try it. It's not working so great. I think the hole might be kind of the wrong shape or something, but fortunately, I've got another idea to make the straw into a different but similar instrument. The way we're gonna make this instrument, which actually resembles more of an oboe, which has two reeds that vibrate back and forth to make sound when you blow air into them, we're gonna flatten out the tip of the straw and then cut it into a point. So it kind of looks like the top of a picket fence. It also makes a tone from blowing air into it, but instead of just the air vibrating all by itself, the air gets help in vibrating and bouncing back and forth by the tips of the straw bouncing back and forth. Let's try this out. <laughs> it's a, not quite as sweet sounding as a flute, but it's kind of a fun instrument. Well, let's try uh, hot cross buns. All right, it's a little bit hard to vary the pitch. What I'm doing to vary the pitch is uh, I'm changing how hard I'm blowing into the tube and I'm kind of tensing up the straw a little bit to make it change pitch. Now another way you can make it change pitch is to vary the length of the straw. Watch what happens when I cut off the end. <laughs> Not too bad. What if we could have a way to vary the pitch as we played. I'm gonna take a second straw and push it into the first straw. And now I've got kind of a straw trombone. Not bad. Become a top builder. See what instruments you can design out of things that you find around the house, and then send in your designs to the Design Squad website.